one. All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. So as part of our three gun series, we're doing cheap versus expensive. One part of that series is talking about triggers. Now on the expensive build, we're running a trigger tech diamond, which is about a $300 trigger. Now, on the Eco build, we, we nicknamed this guy Eco One. As one of my good friends, uh, BJ Weed, he was like, Eco One's a good name. And I was like, you know what? That is a good name. Uh, we've decided to go with a single stage competition level trigger. Uh, and one of the triggers that I thought was a really good comparison to use on an economical build was this guy right here from Palmetto State Army. This is their new AR match grade three and a half pound trigger. Now, I had the opportunity of shooting with this trigger out at the Wyoming uh, High Bar Ranch deal with one of their Lead Star uh, rifles. And I, 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 I'll be honest with you, it's a, it a really nice trigger. So, for $119, I think it is right now, with free shipping, uh, I'll put the link down below at kb32tac.com. You guys can go over and take a look at this thing. Uh, there are some other triggers out there who are equivalent to this guy. You've got POF, you've got... Uh, the one and only CMC, who, by the way, provided the, uh, well, didn't provide it, but uh, that's the lower parts kit that we used. And we are going to be doing, thanks to the guys over there at uh, uh, Optics Planet, this guy right here, the CMC Bolt Carrier Group. Now, this is not going to go in the econ build because this is not an economical deal, but we are going to utilize the Bolt Carrier Group from uh, Palmetto State Army. They're premium with HPT, MPI, and all the other neat jazz. But as part of our economical build, we're going to be using this guy. And I wanted to do a review independent of that series. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. $119, you get this really cool deal right here. Uh, let's see. PSA, custom match grade trigger. Trigger is designed and engineered with the highest quality standards. Upgrade your mil spec factory AR trigger to experience the difference. Three and a half pound trigger. The flat face, or custom flat trigger bow, full power hammer spring. That's important because if you're going to run in this thing, maybe in an AR-10, you're going to need that. Manufactured from high quality U.S. certified metals. Unique one-piece design, quick, easy installation, 7075 T6 aluminum housing, crisp, clean break with a short reset. We'll be uh, looking at that here in a few seconds. So let's take a look at what we get. We get a full set of Allen wrenches. We get a hammer and uh, uh, trigger pin we also these are anti-lockout with the uh, screws which is really really cool uh the trigger itself all right so we've take a tour around this thing we've got an aluminum housing that looks nice really good looking springs inside uh you've got a disconnect which basically latches on right there and then you've got a more of a traditional style trigger mechanism as it releases from down here on this section right here. So that's pretty cool. Not a bad little deal at all. Polished up right there. Boom. All right. I do like the fact that they've got a full strength hammer spring on there so you don't have to worry about any light primer strikes. Moving around. We can see that trigger bow. I'm really digging that thing. It does have a slight little hook at the end of it, similar to most of the, pretty much all the flat face triggers. Not a bad little deal, $119. Let's go ahead and install it in Eco's lower right here. And let's put the trigger scales to it. And then what we'll do is we'll take it out to the range and we will see how she runs. I wanna look at our reset. I wanna look at the trigger pull and the effectives, how crisp is it? So let's go ahead and install this thing. Here we go. There we go. All right. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the pounds on it, see what she comes out at. All right. So let's go ahead and take our little trusty thingy, whatever it is. It's got some hair hanging off of it right now. That's not pretty. Go ahead and put that in there, protect our lower. And let's go ahead and I just want to play with this thing. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Watch the reset. Little creep on the reset. It was a little bit of movement. I imagine that will probably go ahead and wear in after a while. But literally... 
$119. Let's go ahead and put the uh, trigger scales to it and see how she runs. Let's go ahead and put that thing in there just like so. And set her, here we go. I'm going to pull right there about a quarter inch off the top, bottom of the trigger. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Okay, I'm digging that. That's some free uh, weight reduction. I ain't got to worry about that. Let's do this something. Let's go put this bad boy back in. Do this one more time. About a quarter inch from the bottom. Two pounds, 15 ounces. One more time. Two pounds, 15.4 ounces. Uh, $119. And that is a drop-in trigger. That's not bad, because what I do is I always put my hand, my trigger finger right there so that I'm centered on that bottom section. I always make sure that that little hook right there is hooked. Little grit on the back on the release, but that's being picky. Hmm. All right, guys, let's get it on out there to the field. All right, let's take a look at how this thing functions out in the field. I'm going to tell you something. I've been real impressed. Now, guys, this is the lower that we used on Econ 1. So you've been able to see a little bit of pre-action on this guy. But what I want to show you now, well, is the pull and the reset while we're actually shooting. I know we got a couple bullets in there, so <laughs> let's see how it looks. Stand by. Alright, so with most of the uh, trigger reviews that I do, we're going to do like this. I always like to show you guys what it looks like when it fires. So anyway, we've got a nice trigger bow right here. I like the little hook at the bottom. Uh, at first, I didn't know what to think about this. Aesthetics is a little bit of what everything's about. But I will tell you this. This guy, Three and a half pounds, I think a little bit, what was it, a little bit underneath that? Here we go. There is no take up. Now watch this reset. Very nice. Watch. There it is. Watch the reset. Let's do a double tap. Reset. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, well, there it is, guys. That is the single state drop in competition trigger, three and a half pounds or less, from Palmetto State Armory. These things are $119. Uh, a lot of added features on there. Uh, you've got the captured uh, pins right there, so you're not going to worry about them coming out. Uh, the trigger, the pull, like I said, it is. Very nice. The nice thing is, as I like about it, there is no take up on it. But that reset is perfect. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, you can find a link to this thing, kb32tech.com. I'll put it at the top of the page if you're interested in buying it. Otherwise, you can just go over there to psa.com. Get it from those guys. Uh, would I recommend it? If you're in the market for something that is uh, affordable, uh, there are some other options out there. Let's see. You've got uh, Velocity. Getting ready to get a trigger from those guys. So we'll be doing a comparison. And what I'm trying to do also, we are doing a comparison between all the super duper high end $300, $250 triggers. But I also want to do a comparison between all like the $100, $120, $89. And if for anybody wants me to, I'm, I've got LaRue on the list. Okay. <laughs> the uh, meticulously. Uh, Manufactured trigger, or whatever they call it, MDT. They are on the list. So please let me know if there's some other ones out there. Uh, if you'd like me to give it trouble, POF, uh, I don't know, man. At that price range, there's so many of them. But I would love to be able to show you guys a comparison between the two and develop a best of. But we are going to do that with the high end drop in triggers for competitions. Go to Boy32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Huh. Dealing with the rain, humidity, and everything under the sun today. Let's go to Boy32. I'm out. But you guys are worth it. There you go.
Okay.